What's happening guys and welcome back to this career mode on Motorsport Manager. I am Koza. The next race we are coming up to is the Guildford GP. So it'll be our home Grand Prix in Great Britain. Well, I'm feeling much better at the team now, so I'm not going to be listening to offers anymore. That's making me feel comfortable. So she's happy here, which is good. Had two races, done well in both races. So happy, good purchase with that driver. How's our pit stop looking? The rear jack guy needs to be replaced. I think I'm just going to have to put Garrett in there. Just going to have to put him in there. Going to increase these. Can we ha have them both just before the race? Yes, we can. So we can have the new parts on the car both at one day before the race for the brakes. So we'll just finish that up. Definitely want to do that. How many races do we have left of this season one two three four more races including this one so five races really well hopefully we'll get the performance parts i think we'll most probably stop developing the gearbox i think just so we'll have enough time to increase the performance of these next parts that we're doing oh, how long until our test tracks built mm, 10 weeks 10 weeks until the test tracks built so it's pointless building an engine, so I think I'm going to have to go for the gearbox then. Because there's no point in building an engine if we can't add great parts to it. I think I'm going to go for that, you know. Definitely. So we're going to, that brings us up to 413 acceleration. Bang. 1.4 million. I want to keep that just as the performance upgrade on that. And then I think I'm going to go for the performance upgrades on the brakes. That shouldn't take too long. I'm going to balance, balance them. It's 41 days each. That's what we're going to work on. Yeah, we want to get, we want to get that gearbox done. Which we might use that. Continue. I don't think we're going to get third. I really don't. Oh, do we have rain? What's the weather like? Race is cloudy. The tire wire is very high here as well. I think I'm going to have... Well, it's the only thing we can go for anyway. So I don't know why I am looking at it. So here we are for the British Grand Prix in Guildford. As normal, I'm going to skip the practice session. And I'll see you on the other side of practice coming to the end of practice just getting the race trend three i think we will be getting another lap anyway we would have got another lap in of practice it's a bit tiny bit slow you can see here perez in 16th and gomez setting a 12th position practice time it don't really matter until it's at the race but i'll just speed it up to end the practice session so I've gone for the harder tyre this time around I've gone for the soft tyre because the, at Silverstone well Silverstone it's based off Silverstone at Guildford the tyre wear is really high and I think that being at the rear with Gomez would do him a better service if we have him on the half tire when they start pitting then start really going for it i think that we'll try and do that just can't let them go too far ahead and we can push a bit more on the tire than that tire as well it is raining in the race okay and it's gonna be coming down quite a lot so we lost a bit on gomez I think that's the best I can get it at 98. I'm happy with that. We'll continue. I don't really want to mess it up. Uh, nice long estimated laps though for the wets. Maybe try and go for as long as possible on that. Car number two managed to get all perfects on periods. I think we are going to go for a all out attack on both drivers at the start then. And we'll try and get a few places. And here we are for the British Grand Prix. And it's 
We will lights out. Gomez in 18th position. Let's look at Perez. Can she take? Oh no, bit of a bad start. And is behind the Octane Racing car. I do believe that is. Yeah, it is. But uh, Gomez lost the place. So he's now down into 19th. Whoever that was went steaming past the rest of the group. So we are. Mm, well, same positions really. Gomez lost the place. I'm just going to keep him on all out attack at the moment, I think. Actually, no, I don't think I want to do that. I want to actually move him down. Why? Because the weather is not really suited for wet weather yet. I'll keep the engine mode on. I just don't want to overheat. So we can push for a bit longer. We've lost, gone down to third now. The only sponsor objective is that we can get is a third spot. Gomez in last position. I would say that the other cars around him though are quicker. I am just going to conserve them for a few laps until we get up to about the full flap and then start pushing on them. I think we can bring down the engine modes as well to medium on both cars. Gomez in 20th position. As I say, as long as you don't fall too far behind, I'm okay. I'm okay. Here is down to fourth, lost another place. And it's not looking too great for us at the moment. We have a rain, it can always cause an upset. Other cars are pulling in front of us. We can push now. We can start pushing now. It's fine. Move both on them up to put. I'm going to move Gomez up to attack. See if he can get past some cars. And I think I might move Perez up to attack as well. And high on the engine mode. Hopefully we can start getting some places back. He's in 18th. He's overtaken. Have they pitted though? I think they actually pitted. They did pit. For a fresh set of tyres. Okay, weird. I mean, the rain does fall off really quickly. I think we when the when the pit's over. Okay, yeah, right. So we're gonna go push and push both cars. Perez around the because she last two laps. Look at Perez. Should I pit her then? We have two laps of fuel. Uh, so this lap I think she's going to have to come in uh, I suppose could put inters on her but it does drop off quite quick I've got to make up my mind hit, got a pit of this lap anyway I'm going to put inters on her just make sure she's on the right tyre fill up 10 laps of fuel and yeah I think that's cool we'll go for a fast pit stop And I think we'll do everything all out on Gomez. Try and get some positions. We do. Do we have a mistake on the tyres? We did. That's a shame. Gomez. I don't know if to take the gamble with Gomez and go for the hard tyre. It's stop raining now. Hit. I think I'm going to go for it. Fill up. Then laps. And yeah. Fast pit stop. And he's just run out of fuel as he enters the pits. <laughs> go from the wets. It does drop off. Gomez. Filling up. So. The strategy here is to conserve fuel and conserve tyres and who was that that passed there? Was that? Oh yeah, she's falling behind Perez. Gomez will be slow. Granted Gomez will be slow. But I'm going to try and conserve these so he doesn't have to. He will have to pit again but he'll be in front. Antonov, Elsa, that's gone for... Set of soft tyres. 
So Gomez won't be the only slow one on the track. Still a couple of people with the wets on. Perez is on intermediates. <clears throat> really slow lap times here. Gomez falling down into last position. But uh, nothing to lose, really. And yeah, she could even go all out on the fuel. Really. We're into overtake mode, sod it. So I think we're at a stage now where these soft tyres might start coming in to use. We have 11 laps remaining. This is why I've gone quite hard with Pires because I want to put her on softs as well. She can, her next pit stop, she'll be able to actually finish the race. So she can start using them tyres and, and uh, fuel to the max until she pit, comes ready to pit. Unfortunate Gomez race is out of the question, I think. Pires moving up to 8th position. And taking some of these cars. I think we messed up with Gomez here. I think we pitted way too early. As to that car, he's got no chance on them tyres, mate. He's 45 seconds behind as well. On from the leader. Is his lap time starting to go better or something? I don't know. Uh, what is that the logic point leaving me on in those? She wants to pit, so I think we will do. We'll take the jump. And it's eight laps until the end of the race. I'll put nine in. Anything we re need repairing? Nah. We'll go for a fast pit stop as well. I think we're the first to come in for the no. Someone else has come in as well. But I want to end the race on these tyres. So hence I'm going for them. And I'll leave them on push. And she can go down to higher engine mode. Hopefully. Oof. <laughs> that was close. Nearly a coming together. Gomez is in 17th and he still has to pit there's no way i think he can finish the race on that set so i think we're gonna have to just go for it with him he still has to pit there's no way he can make the end of the race on them tires it's not with a fuel oh perez just didn't get in front of Melo. Melo just came out of the pits before. Unfortunate that is. But we do have, I mean, a lot of peak cars gone for the soft tyre. We do have the experience on the soft. Uh, sorry, a lot of cars gone for the super soft, not the soft. There is an eighth though. So doing well. Unfortunately, I think we made a right mess up with Gomez here. Because there's no way he could have finished the race on that amount of fuel and tyres. So we're just going to try and push as fast as we can with him. He does set a fastest lap as well. Oh no. Poor old Gomez. I think it's all for nothing. Going to bring him in for his pit. I'm going to put him on a fresh set of softs. And I think we're just going to add one lap of extra fuel. Engine is fine. We'll go for a fast pit stop. Do everything we can for him, but I think it is a lost cause. Unfortunate for him. And, well, it's my decision. It was my decision to put him on the soft tyre. I thought that was the better option. But it wasn't. He lost just he just lost too much time in the wet. Here he comes, getting passed by Perez, driver number two in tenth position. Where will Gomez come out? Where will he come out? 
think the pit stop was actually fine though. You know, bump his engine mode up and he can go as hard as he wants on them tyres now. So he comes in out in 20th unfortunately. Last position. We still have a 10th position though with Perez. We're getting some points anyway. So we are catching people up at is someone's in the pits. This guy. Nah. <laughs> Oh, this, is, this is the person that's last in the championship. And Gomez is actually on the tail of someone here. Look at this. He's on the tail of the China race, race Team China car. So it's not all bad for him. He's coming back in his own way. Which is good. At least, at least he's getting some satisfaction by overtaking some of the back cars there. Oh dear, look at this. Some of these cars' tyres, mate. Is that why Gomez is overtaking them all? <laughs> I think it is. I think it is. Gomez is just rocking past them. He's going to catch a few up, in fact. So might Pires as well. Seventh position, though. Not bad. Going across the line for the final lap. We're going to be overtaken by Sadat, who's on a fresh set of soft tyres. He was in the lead, actually at one point so mm, pity that and yes we have gone down to 8th place Gomez into 16th and who's he looking up now he's got no chance of catching them unfortunately unfortunately he's got no chance Perez how are we doing there is no chance of catching these other cars whose tyres have got they've just gone off right at the end of the race as well that's such a shame well it's it's it's, it's a lot better than we was doing last season eighth play finish at this stage in the season is not bad unfortunately my mistake with gomez here may just finish in 16th should have gone for them intermediates unfortunately Look at that, 14% with tyres left and he finishes first. That's how much quicker them cars are than us. He come in for the Inters and that was the best strategy it looked like. Mellow though, done similar. I reckon if we had done, if we had used Gomez in the way that we used Pires, Gomez might have made some places up. Got a few more points. Lesson learned. Drivers' Championship, Gomez drops to 8th position from 3rd. And we are now in 6th position behind Zampelli Engineering. Well, I, I think we're still in a good spot for this for this year. Maybe even next year we might be a bit better. <laughs> it is minus 268,000. There you go. There is the driver's standings. Just go through this mal to see... Accepting a view. Andre Gomez was fuming as post interview after running out of fuel on the last lap. <laughs> Dropping position. Are you going to apologise? Uh, I do owe him an apology. It was my mistake. There you go. Uh, the chairman didn't like that. But, you know, at least we'll say sorry to Gomez. It was our fault. Listening to offers. Oh, yeah. Bieland might be going. I'm not saying that I'm going to leave, but if an offer comes from another team, then I'm going to consider it. Well, good luck to you, mate, because you're one of the worst drivers in the championship. You know, just be happy that you're a reserve driver at Cosa Perks Motorsport, mate. Lost some marketability points as well, unfortunately. Just noticed that. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, an okay race I guess this season but I think I was a bit th after the first race back I think I was a bit excited about we was going to be finishing podiums and that but no a reality kicked us in the in the teeth a bit here but you know we've still got next season we've still got many seasons to come so it don't matter uh, thank you very much for watching guys I hope you liked the video if you did like the video please give it a thumbs up and as always if you haven't already please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you know when I upload a video Thank you very much for watching, guys. I have been Koza, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye-bye.
Understand you soon, it won't be long. Keep on, keep on.